developers across the country and abroad. Today for our live session, we have two brilliant young minds with us who cracked the extremely tough and competitive JEE mains examination in 2023, Mr. Shobhik Ghosh and Mr. Shonok Bhattacharya from NIT Durgapur. We would like to tell our audience that every year we conduct similar shows where we inform our viewers about how to prepare for these competitive examinations through live interactive sessions like these. Today, both our guests will share their experiences and valuable insights with us about how they prepared and what they learned through the process that they have gone through last year. Shobik and Shonak, welcome to the show. Will you please introduce yourselves for our audiences, Shonak? Hello everyone, I am Shonak Bhattacharya. I am from Sotpur, North 24 Paganas. I secured uh, an All India rank of 5,886 and a percentile of 99.5 in JE Mains 2023. And I am currently pursuing a degree of B.Tech in Computer Science and Engineering from the National Institute of Technology, Durgapur. Shobhi? Good morning everyone. Myself Shobhi from uh, Bardhaman. I, I am present here with you. Uh, my, uh, my journey of achieving uh, AIR 3700, uh, wa 3070 was uh, much of a dedication and perseverance uh, filled journey. I am here to share my insights and uh, strategies that helped me excel and I hope will be valuable to you in your uh, pursuit for academic excellence. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much, Shobhik and Shonak. Uh, my next question is uh, to both of you. Shonak, you can start. Did you get inspiration to prepare for the JE entrance from any of your closed ones like family or friends? Yes. My family members always inspired me and motivated me to pursue higher education and they also got me admitted to a coaching institute so that I could pursue uh, engineering and I could have uh, professional guidance for JE mains and actually I first learned about JE mains from one of my friends and okay. it was he who suggested a coaching institute mm where I started studying for J Mens and then uh, and that was the beginning of my journey. Okay, Shobhi? Uh, my journey was also similar. Uh, I also got inspired from one of my friends. Mm -hmm. uh, he told me about that IITs and uh, the coaching institutes. Uh, then I researched on my own about the IITs and their mm -hmm. uh, campus life, the brilliant uh, knowledge and information about them. So uh, this encouraged me to pursue for JE mains and advance, uh, which ultimately brought me where I am today. Perfect. So uh, would you like to speak about uh, some last minute preparations for the exam? What subject did you focus more on? Maths, physics or chemistry? Uh, personally, I believe that uh, physics is a uh, much scoring, uh, high, high scoring subject because uh, it it focuses more on conceptual clarity and uh, can be uh, can be practiced by solving the numericals uh, but uh, as a je aspirant we shouldn't have any weak points so uh, i sh i also focused on uh, the remaining two subjects equally also the namely chemistry and maths okay was it physics also for you shona yes sir okay so you focused more on physics uh, compared yes, to maths and chemistry? Yes ma'am, because it was quite easier for me hmm. to understand because it involved both concepts and mathematics which I... Okay. Uh, what is your favorite subject among the three of... My uh, favorite subject is physics. Okay, your favorite subject yes. is physics and you started with, you focused more on that. Yes. What about you Shove? My also same means uh, I like physics more and so I started uh, the exam with physics uh, and also uh, focused more on the physics part of the okay paper. okay so um, a common thing which we hear of uh, as laymen that mathematics is a very crucial subject to crack je entrance is it so or is uh, it, it it doesn't matter 
does it carry more yes, weightage yes uh, it matters because uh, even in physics and chemistry also there are more uh, maths related concepts right, like right. calculus will be there in physics right. and chemistry also mm-hmm. uh, uh, integration and differentiation are the backbones of uh, je so uh, first you have to clarify the uh, maths part uh, then you can move on to other subjects uh, okay basics uh, uh shonak what subject do you uh, like to start solving the question paper with uh, initially i like to uh, start the problems by so first solving the physics problems but then okay. I later realized that I was better in solving maths problems at first because hmm. if I started solving maths at the last then there were some problems which required critical thinking and right. by that time I was pretty much tired so my brain st- would start to hang. Okay. So I preferred maths at first. Hmm. However, it depends upon the individual who is solving the problems so I would advise the aspirants to first give several mock tests and see in which part they are m- mo- most confident and I would also recommend them to experiment with various orders during the mock test so that hmm. when they recognize the pattern which would be beneficial for them they can follow that and do that in the exam that was a very very important point Uh, Shobik do you start with your favorite subject or Yeah I start with my favorite subject that is uh, physics okay and then I move on to chemistry because I feel like uh, as it is my favorite subject I can uh, solve the questions uh, more uh, f- more fast in a more fast way and uh, then chemistry is uh, relatively an easy subject because once you learn everything and uh, grasp the concepts then Uh, it is basically like recalling what you have learned so first uh, intermediate i go physics then the easy one chemistry because the time required will be less and then move on to maths because in uh, je mains or advance you will see that maths is uh, pretty much tough in comparison to yes. physics and chemistry yes 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 so uh, in sti- time strategic manner uh, hmm. maths would be beneficial if you solve that last however it depends okay. on individual preferences right 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 what is the uh, system of marks distribution weightage for all the three subjects are same across the entrance or like yeah 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 it's same uh, in uh, je mains it's same okay okay so um, what chapters according to you shonak is uh, most important for maths for maths i would say that integral and differential calculus to some extent and uh, functions limits continuity uh, binomial theorem these chapters would be important along with coordinate geometry of course okay okay and vectors and 3d geometry too okay and uh, what about physics and chemistry shobhik physics in physics uh, rather than a single chapter i would like to uh, m- more f- focus more on a group of chapters that is namely electromagnetism here we can see that um, electrostatics current electricity hmm. magnetic effects of current this all bunch of chapters Uh, can be combined under a single topic and uh, you can see that in a physics in the physics part the electromagnetism uh, part weighs more uh, over the years you can see the trend that most uh, part of the physics is asked from this electromagnetism part only and in chemistry uh, there is equal balancing between physics in organ physical inorganic and uh, in organic chemistry okay. however in organic chemistry you have to focus first on uh, goc general organic chemistry because it forms the backbone of organic chemistry and then highest weighted chapter is alcohol phenol ether as far as i remember uh, okay. because uh, most questions uh, came from there only Okay. and uh, in physical chemistry there will be solutions and thermodynamics and in inorganic the p block uh, has most uh, twisting questions yeah. okay okay uh, what we have uh, generally observed that uh, aspirants tend to ignore chemistry and mm. prepare more for physics and maths is it is it uh, right or uh, it should not be done because chemistry also has equal weightage as you told so would you like to speak about it shona yes as uh, as he said that chemistry also has equal weightage 
as physics and mathematics so it, chemistry is equally important also since chemistry has a lot of memorizing part right. it is relatively easier to score because one can just see the question and, and just give the answer okay. instead of calculating mm. so it is quite important to study chemistry however i was also one of them who did not study chemistry well okay. uh, that was one of my weak points okay. however if someone practices well then it will improve besides right. there are several exceptions in chemistry so it requires a lot of practice okay um can you give a little insight on how to memorize equations in chemistry shovik memorizing equations that depends first you have to uh, learn it then you have to practice uh, by giving some mock test or by asking your friends or uh, attempting any online Uh, quiz or uh, mock test series mm -hmm. so uh, it depends on how much you practice the more you practice the more you will be able to uh, uh, right. recall the uh, reactions you remembered uh, prepared for the exam uh do you remember what chapters had the highest questions from physics in the year that you gave the entrance exam uh, as far as i remember current electricity modern physics and perhaps thermodynamics had a large number of questions okay and what about maths shobhit in maths more uh, easy yet uh, high weighted chapters were 3d geometry and vector algebra because uh, those uh, chapters had high weightage more number of questions but were easy to prepare for and uh, another chapter are uh, like uh, in uh, calculus there will be application of derivatives or definite integration this also had high weightage mm -hmm. so you can prepare accordingly okay what according to you shonak is uh, easier to memorize a chemistry equation or a physics formula for me it it will obviously be a physics formula because you love physics yeah okay physics. is it the same yeah. for you also shobhi yeah 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 Uh, because physics is my favorite subject so obviously it will be physics formula okay so uh, what i would like to ask next is uh, uh, was there a particular order that you followed while solving the question paper in your exam last year uh, yes like i first solved the mathematics problems then okay. perhaps the physics problems and then the chemistry because chemistry Uh, does not have a lot of thinking part in it so hmm. i prefer to start it at the last okay also i first solve the mcq part then the hmm. numerical part okay and i just first w in in the mathematics part i was just going through the questions mm -hmm. in case i found a question quite easy and which could be solved in a few minutes i solved that and gave the answer if suppose it was uh, a question which would take a few like uh, a little amount of time but was solvable by me i would mark that for review and then go to the next question and if in case the question was very difficult for me or i could not solve that yeah. i would just skip it this was a strategy which was instructed to me by one of my teachers okay what did you follow shobhik what was the yeah, order yeah uh, the question solving depends uh, upon individual choice but mainly there are uh, two strategies you can follow one is uh, first reviewing all the questions but uh, it depends if the, there are high number of questions which you have not read or are difficult that it then it can uh, give a punch to your morale and you can uh, get a confidence uh, down during the examination okay but in case of uh, attempting your favorite subject you can lose the uh, lose the uh, precision of time right uh, you may uh, get lost in solving one subject only and then finally after uh, half an hour uh, one and uh, one hour or two hour you may realize that i have less time for other subjects other sections also True. so i used to fo follow a balanced approach i first uh, followed the i first followed the physics uh, part 
uh, I solved it uh, and tried to do it within half an hour but generally it took me about 35 to 40 minutes I reviewed the questions which mm. were easy to solve I solved it and uh, which were difficult uh, or uh, intermediate type I would usually mark them and then uh, move on to the chemistry section I followed the same sequence only mm -hmm. half an hour half an hour half an hour so around uh, uh, 1.5 hours or 2 hours I usually uh, looked up all the uh, questions in the uh, question paper and uh, I uh, get a rough estimate on which questions I solve and which questions right. I will not attempt mm -hmm. and then uh, in the remaining one hour I can uh, at my own pace uh, solve them right, to right. maximize my uh, marks. Very also, true. Also yeah. I would like to add a point yeah. that just as I had said earlier that uh, the aspirants should give multiple mock tests and yes, see which yes. uh, which order they prefer. Similarly, in this case, they should again experiment with themselves and see which um, order and <coughs> uh, which subject they should give more time and more priority. Because. Right. What I gathered from both of your insights was that time management is yes. extremely important. Yes for the competitive yes, examination yes. and how you achieve it is by lots of practice yes. right so uh, I would like to ask do you remember the most difficult question from maths that was there in the last year's question paper Shobhik no, uh, difficulty according to you difficulty of a problem is relative it right, depends right. on the practice of the individual student very true so in my perspective there was no uh, there were not any questions which were like unsolvable mm -hmm. yeah some had uh, taken more time so i usually skipped them but there were not any questions which were mm, too difficult to be answered or to be uh, uh, not given a shot okay okay what about physics and chemistry shona uh, there were a few questions which I could not solve perhaps because I had forgotten a formula or something but okay. well many questions were relatively easy for me but there were a few problems which were a bit difficult like and there were some questions which were actually easy but relatively difficult as compared to other questions which were present. Hmm. So right now the uh, these entrance examinations are already knocking on the door. Yes. So 2nd April is the JE J. mains entrance and 28th is West Bengal joint. So uh, do you want to share a very valuable advice on last minute preparations? Practice mock, st mock tests uh, regularly yes. and uh, make a sitting habit like uh, J e. mains is conducted uh, during the two shifts any of the w one uh, any of the any one of the two shifts you will get either the 9 to 12 or 2 to 5 so mm -hmm. practice from now only make a sitting habit of that i will sit uh, at 9 am and solve questions equally from all the three subjects till 12 pm i will not watch phone i will mm -hmm. not get distracted i will not drink water i will not leave my desk make a uh, right. habit of sitting uh, fr right now right, because right. Uh, it will help you relieve the anxiety in the exam hall hmm, hmm, hmm. perseverance is the most important thing according yeah. to you you shona and i would suggest them to revise the theory parts and the concepts also because there are a few formula formulae or some concepts which we tend to forget after hmm, some time hmm, hmm. and all of them may not be uh, covered in the mock test so sometimes we require to revise the topics and then start to do the mock test so i would suggest do uh, to give mock tests and then again revise the topics and then again give the mock tests and so on and just m before the exam i mean a day before the exam they should take some rest uh, eat healthy food so that uh, they do not f fall sick on the day of the exam right. and they should sleep well so that their brain functions well during the exam also mm, they should meditate and keep themselves calm so that they do did not you get practice meditation mm, too yes you did during the exams I that is a very very important uh, aspect okay. in general and especially for any competitive examinations that you are preparing a little note for our audiences after the competitive examinations are over please keep following our facebook and instagram official pages where we'll again inform you about all the procedures of getting into a competitive examination right from the form fill up to the process of choice filling 
do you require a domicile or not and how to require it what documents are required so i would highly suggest to follow our official pages where we'll form a discussion panel and let you know about everything uh, coming back to you shobik uh, this is a very broad question do you think the boards of study or the medium of study is important for cracking a competitive examinations what i mean to say is like say cbse or icse and some other aspirant is coming from a vernacular board does he or she faces some uh, extra troubles in cracking the examination or while preparing for it what do you think about no it? on a broader scale the board doesn't uh, matters because okay. uh, in fact jee can is translated in uh, i think 20 to 22 languages okay. so you can give in your uh, possible feasible uh, language in which you are comfortable but uh, marginally you can say cbsc there is a slight advantage because cbsc board follows uh, ncert and uh, the physics and chemistry part of jee mains is focused highly on ncert right. so other boards they have to take their time Uh, and uh, separately read the ncert well cbsc students will already have read uh, ncert so there is a marginal scope of improvement mm. but uh, overall it depends on the individual practice critical thinking and uh, intelligence right right what do you think shona i think that uh, the board exams are Uh, focus more on the subjective and the conceptual part of the uh, chapters, while the J mains and advanced they focus more on the deeper level and critical thinking part of the concepts. Right. So, in order to crack the board exams, one has to uh, practice theory and language as well as understand that he or she has to write all the steps which are required to get the marks. of a question but in case of je mains or advanced hmm. the questions are of higher level as compared to boards however right, right. they are not uh, obliged to write all the steps and hmm, hmm. in fact they most of the, the sorry the questions are generally mcq or nvq hmm, hmm, so hmm. they just have to calculate the answer right, um, right. either mentally or they can take the help of a rough sheet right. and then they can just write the answer hmm, hmm. what i actually meant to say was see uh, mcq qu- type questions are there but to solve a maths problem mm. you need to uh, take some steps to solve a numerical mm. right so say somebody is step jumping somebody is solving it in say 12 steps you are mm. taking only 8 steps there it's mm. hampering the time so mm. do you think there it matters or it doesn't in case of board the 12 steps may be required because each step carries marks but in case of joint the 12 steps are not required if a person can do the complete calculation in only 8 steps or even less steps then it will be better to go for the lesser number of steps however that also uh, brings a risk of a wrong calculation right. perhaps right. that person missed one thing in one step and while step jumping wrote something else so that depends on the person also it depends on the practice of hmm, the person hmm. very true very true ashobik uh, are there any helpful online websites that you followed to brush up your maths problem solving skills for maths uh, i followed mohit tyage sir uh, okay. he has a very good youtube channel mm-hmm. so uh, there you can get uh, almost all concepts covered and also Uh, s- uh, problems uh, solved and their answers also and some few extremely helpful shortcuts also which helped me uh, during the exam time as it reduced as ma'am said uh, it reduced the time uh, by significant lot right. uh, almost half right. the time usually required in boards right uh, can you talk <coughs> about some websites for physics or chemistry yes uh which are genuine and helpful to the mm. aspirants mm-hmm. i generally study from the modules and the lectures of my okay. coaching center okay. however so during uh, just before the exam i also took some help from other apps like uh, rk technologies physics maths chemistry and then marks of mathongo and then physics wala app like that 
Okay. okay. I would also like yeah. to add that uh, in physics you can follow a, a very uh, very highly educated sir. Uh, in fact, he is an uh, alumnus of IIT Bombay. Okay. Uh, his name is uh, Vinay Upal. You can okay. uh, directly search on Google physics with Vinay Upal. Okay. And you can follow his crash course or maybe you can follow from the starting if you want. Uh, so he has uh, very much. Uh, Uh, core foundation in physics and will help you build up the what is required for a competitive exam and right. in case of physics uh, chemistry in organic chemistry i used to follow mks sir okay. uh, you can find his channel in youtube okay. uh, there you can uh, prepare uh, thoroughly for organic chemistry portion okay while you were speaking what question came to my mind was that uh, see uh, earlier there were no youtube channels there was no online access to data right now both the textbooks and the online uh, websites are equally available so how do you manage time to devote to the online sites and the channels and your textbooks like are they equally important or you divide the time uh, equally between both of them or you devote more to one of them what is your view about it shonak uh, i think it depends on the person like some people find it easier to understand from book and right. it actually takes them less amount of time to understand the topics from the book hmm. however there are some people who find it difficult to understand the concepts from the book so right. they require a lecture to understand what is being taught hmm, hmm, hmm. so it depends on the person who is uh, studying uh, f- for me Um, several books were enough for me and oh. i also uh, so, uh, watched several lectures from my coaching mm-hmm. institute mm-hmm. besides i uh, attended several lectures and had several notes so that was enough for me okay what about you shobik uh, personally i uh, usually refer to books more than youtube videos because okay, right. uh, to mm-hmm. me the youtube videos or the lectures are a little bit less time efficient hmm. Uh, hmm. as my Very reading true. speed is high so i usually expect me to cover more syllabus or more uh, topics in the same duration of time as an youtube video right so uh, the i first solved the packages and modules of my uh, coaching institute hmm. uh, make make a notes of the all the formulas and uh, all the important topics and then moved on to the online part online quiz online uh, test series etc okay uh, that's true and what i gathered is that if you go to watching youtube channels you can deviate to you know yes. keep on watching some other uh, content yeah, yeah, also yes. yeah. right yeah. okay so my next question is a very important one i'll start with you shonak that uh, does every student need to go through each question of the question paper while he is starting solving the paper or he starts with solving what he is 100% confident about and read the later questions after some time what do you what is best according to you as i had said earlier one of my teachers had instructed me hmm. f- in case of maths to first go through the questions if in case i found a question suitable enough to be solved in a few minutes i should first solve that question in case i uh, felt confident that i can solve this question but it would take some time then i would mark that for review and move on to the next question okay. and if i found that the question was very difficult or i could not find the solution at that moment i would skip that okay and then move okay. on to the next marking a question for a review is a very important tip which i suggest our viewers to follow diligently what was the uh, trick that you followed shobik did you go through the question paper or you kept on solving the ones th- that you were confident uh, no nah, i followed a, a balanced approach i okay. first started with my favorite subject uh, okay. physics but i uh, restricted the time i spent in each uh, section i usually uh, follow the questions if it is uh, e- solvable within one or two minutes i solve them if it was uh, a little bit lengthy then i u- used to mark it for review and then uh, uh, review second time when i would be revisiting the section uh, yeah okay okay good so uh, now i'll talk about the whole je scenario the examination is just for a day which decides your future but you keep on preparing for it for a long long time 
you hard work you put in your efforts you turmoil and how do you manage your mental stress during that period the preparation phase show now hmm. uh sometimes when i felt that i was under uh, much stress i would just meditate or take okay. some deep breaths hmm. sometimes i would take a stroll or i would just go out and breathe in the open air okay. i may even uh, lie down hmm. or talk with someone that okay. was my okay okay and yeah, perhaps yes. sometimes hmm. i may even switch the subject hmm. or the hmm. concept to go to through. break the monotony yes. right that's very very important uh shobik i would uh, talk to you about the mental stress during the examination suppose you you have prepared a lot you have gone through everything but while giving the examination you are stressing out or you are you are nervous how do you deal with that what do you uh, suggest that is a common phenomena among the students hmm. usually you prepare for a subject very well and in the exam hall you forget one or two formulas or you in your mind it feels like i uh, read this uh, question i solved it i solved this concept Uh, but you are unable to recall it at that mm, time so is it's usually better to skip at that moment and uh, review it uh, next time because uh, uh, instead of wasting time on a single question mm-hmm. you can dedicate the time uh, which you are recalling right. to uh, uh, solve other questions and subconsciously think about what should be done or what uh, was the formula or concept related to uh, that question right 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 Uh, and what about the preparation time how did you manage your stress at that time during the preparation time i used to take uh, regular short breaks hmm. uh, so uh, to break the monotony hmm. and uh, usually switch between subjects and uh, concepts also i used to uh, read uh, motivational books or maybe hmm. some uh, other comic series or extra uh, referential out of uh, out of the uh, academic uh, okay okay so, okay yes. good sometimes i would also hmm. do that right right Th- those are very helpful when you try to break the uh, panorama of the things going mm. on in your regular life a little break is enough to you know yes. uh, lift up your spirits mm. that's true uh, so um, let's travel a year back and mm. when the results of the je mains came out uh what was your rank and how did you feel about it hmm first when the answer keys were released i was very tensed okay i knew that the exam went well but i was in a very tensed at that time the how will be my result hmm. i just prayed to the almighty and then started checking the answers okay. and then after i had checked the answers i found that i had scored above 200 so I was actually a little bit shocked as well as happy. <laughs> okay. And Happily shocked. Yes, yes. Okay. And my family members were also very happy. Mm-hmm. Then after a long time the result was finally published. Mm. And at that time I found that my rank was 5886 mm. with 99.5 percentile. Okay. And at that time I I was very ac- actually very happy and so where my family members they were very proud also right right will you share your experience shobhi yeah uh, in my case i expected that kind of score because uh, during the examination you can feel like uh, uh, you yes you will get this question you will get in this range of numbers uh, not like uh, you, you will be highly optimistic and uh, thinking like i will score above 250 mm-hmm. or like uh, highly pessimistic uh, like below 50 okay. now uh, you generally get a uh, idea of how much uh, you will get uh, according to your preparation and according to uh, right. what you right. practiced uh, and gave during the examination so i expected that kind of score but uh, my parents were happy mm. uh, after seeing my result mm-hmm. uh, and were very proud also right also. right right How do you feel about your rank now? Now that the the the, the same uh, time of the year is here again, and you see your juniors or your companions preparing for that, how do you feel about it now? 
this journey is not of a sing, uh, single day examination right uh, you prepare it for a uh, two years roughly two years so uh, after the examination day also even now also uh, i recall uh, the dedication the perseverance the hard work i uh, had given i had uh, the efforts i put in the exam uh, and uh, usually you will also feel proud about what you have done uh, in your past uh, yeah okay hmm. what about you yes i actually feel very good and and satisfied at present hmm. and well that journey was very tough at right, times right, right. and then after so much struggle when i am here hmm. i'm actually feeling very good hmm, hmm, hmm. okay uh, what was the reaction of your parents when they found out about this result how did they react Mm. Yes, they were very proud and they were very happy to see my result. That's it. Okay. What about you, Shobhi? Uh, my uh, parents were proud and happy. Uh, in fact, they uh, let uh, uh, know. They let my results know to uh, some of the relatives and close friends of our family. So yeah, it was a proud moment for me and my family also. Okay. and what about your teachers at your coaching of course they might have been jubilant but uh, did they share something important which you would like to share with our viewers mm. important like important in the sense uh, some uh, insights about how to prepare for your journey further now now that you have cleared the je mains you will get into a college so how how did you prepare for the counseling process that's what i mean to ask yes they they did guide me through the counseling process hmm. and uh they told me about uh, which subjects say right, which branches were better like uh, one teacher of mine from hmm. uh, the coaching had instructed us to uh, fail according to the branch first and okay. then the college okay what about you shobhi in my case i uh, researched some of my own and then there is a uh, there is also a youtube channel which i followed for this counseling hmm. it is uh, gorov roy uh, he is from our college only okay. so he is now also uh, uh, do, uh, releasing videos regarding the counseling process and also you can uh, ask him or contact him uh, through his channel uh, for any guidelines regarding the counseling uh, of josa or cisap okay okay uh shonak would you share some last minute preparation tips for our viewers what is according to you the most important tip for the last minute preparation i would suggest the aspirants to um, focus on the revision and the uh, various concepts in th- which they had studied earlier hmm. because after uh, covering all the chapters sometimes we tend to forget the ones which we had uh, covered earlier so they uh, so they need to revise the topics again and hmm. after revision they need to practice them again through uh, pyqs as well as mock tests right and after that uh, just before the exam as i had said earlier they should take some rest and keep their mind at peace right right what according to you is the best way shobhik in my case i would say that uh, just the day before the examination you should just take a uh, you should just overlook once through your formula sheets which you have prepared or maybe your coaching institute have given and uh, eat well sleep well uh, take enough rest stay calm Uh, and uh, reach the examination venue well before time because now also there are uh, i hear many cases in which uh, due to one or two minute uh, late uh, late entry they uh, do not get the permission to entry enter in the exam mm-hmm. hall or give the exam so uh, it's like wasting uh, your two years of work for one or two minutes or one or two hours of journey hmm. so i would suggest uh, take necessary documents and reach the venue well before time at least half an hour or 15 minutes before the scheduled time right right talking about the preparation phase what i believe 
they it can be broadly divided into three parts the initial phase the confident middle phase and the last minute preparation mm -hmm. do you think there is a difference between preparing in the initial phase and the last minute phase yes there okay. is a large difference in preparing in the initial phase as well as the last minute phase because in the initial phase we do not know the concepts so we first learn the concepts we understand uh, what are the concepts how to solve the uh, various numericals we learn the formulae we understand the theory and so on and in the middle phase we practice those calculations again and again and the last minute phase we just go through the topics one by one we revisit all the concepts we had learned earlier right and just to remember what we have learned as mm. well as uh, we practice a few problems so that it keeps in touch right right uh, what are your thoughts about it shovi yeah there is uh, definitely a difference between the initial phase intermediate phase and the final last minute preparation uh, in fact uh, the, uh, the difference will be observable in the students confidence level only right. first usually they start uh, preparing for je thinking that they will achieve air 1 or under 10 then as they prepare for uh, the exam they re read through the topics they are uh, they are uh, they read and prepare and uh, know what uh, kind of level wha uh, of what level the examination is uh, the goal drops uh in during the intermediate phase uh, you will think like maybe under 10k okay uh, and during the last minute uh, you will be so nervous that uh, you will think uh, okay if i pass enough that is enough for me but you should always keep your uh, morale and boost your confidence Uh, you should uh, talk and uh, depend for emotional stability on your friends and families right so you can maintain the same level of confidence and prepare uh, with same uh, momentum hmm. during the whole journey very true very true and in the last minute preparation phase what do you suggest which subject do you suggest to emphasize more on the subject which a student is 100% confident about or the subject which he is weaker in what should he emphasize on I personally emphasized on the subjects in which I was weaker. Okay. However, during the ultimate last phase, I hmm. started revising the subjects in which I was strong because yes. they required only a small amount of boost hmm. to uh, also to time. allow me to remember. Yes, to hmm. allow me to memorize the things which I had learned. Hmm hmm hmm. What about you, Shobik? Yeah, during the last minute, you should uh, revise thoroughly. Uh, prepare uh, mostly uh, depend mostly on your strong subject and uh, do not uh, go for any new topics okay. like one week before the exam or one day before the exam or oh, this uh, topic is coming or this has been added so it has very high true, chance of hmm. uh, coming to the exam but then also don't prepare for it as right. uh, it will create a lot of confusion right. you will not get the time for preparation and also lose your confidence like what is this i did not uh, came prepared for this level and hmm. during the exam also you will get confused about uh, the things which you learned because you will not get uh, sufficient time for revision right 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 how did the both of you manage boards with the je entrance i'll start with you shona mm, i had studied in isc and as many people say it is actually difficult to uh, yes, balance yes, both isc is. boards and uh, je mains hmm. because in isc we have uh english which is generally tougher as compared yes. to uh, other boards other boards right so uh, i uh, studied all the subjects again and again practiced again and again so i was quite confident in both sports and may uh, j okay and since the fundamental concepts are the same similar right so uh, studying for boards also ma made it easier for me to understand what i was studying in j means hmm. however for j i had to think critically when i was solving the problem so i had to solve several problems too for j means right. so that i can would be acquainted with the pattern of j means okay and you shobhi in my case also i would say that uh, preparing for boards is uh, slightly easier because uh, as i am from cbse so the pressure of english was uh, less mm. and uh, i mainly focused on uh, je mains uh, uh, for the physics chemistry and maths part so there wasn't any difficulty for the boards uh. 
ओके ओके सो हाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट आर लास्ट फाइव ईयर्स क्वेश्चन पेपर्स सॉल्विंग लास्ट फाइव ईयर्स क्वेश्चन पेपर्स फॉर क्रैकिंग जे ई से मीन्स दे आर वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट एज दे टेल द स्टूडेंट हाउ द क्वेश्चन कम एक्चुअली इन द जे ई मेन्स क्वेश्चन लाइक if the battlefield is known then it it becomes easier for the soldier to win the battle just like that solving this previous yeah. year question papers actually makes the aspirant acquainted with uh, the questions which would Very come true. during the exam Very so true. it becomes easier for the aspirant to crack jee okay uh, shobik how did you manage time between solving last 5 years question papers and your personal preparation did you devote similar time schedules to both of them or you did you divide it amongst them uh, uh, personally i also focused more on the pyqs because uh, uh, also i prepared uh, at least 10 uh, last 10 years of pyqs okay. because with such a vast number of papers coming every year there will be many shifts there uh, solving at least 10 uh, you can get a rough estimate of how the questions will be hmm. and definitely from there you will get repeated questions right. maybe the values will be changed but the question pattern or the question statement will be same so uh, solving pyqs uh, yes you can uh, roughly uh, expect a higher percentile if you solve only pyqs rather than uh, wandering in the online uh, sources and uh, Uh, trying at random uh, right. websites yeah. true true and why solving previous years questions did you encounter repetition of questions in those years and did the questions get get repeated while you uh, sat for the entrance yeah 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 uh, the question gets repeated in je mains in fact uh, you can observe easily that questions get repeated uh, not exactly the same num- uh, numerical data will hmm. be provided hmm. but the same question with different numerical value may be and very few questions were like uh, off the charts uh, okay. extreme uh, ex- uh, uh, based on the new topics or uh, not ac- well acquainted for many students but mostly uh, there will be from there will be from the pyqs only okay shonak yes more or less the questions of any uh, test can be found f- from a set of questions comp- uh, comprising of the questions of the previous question question papers okay and uh, maybe the numerical data is different but the question i- uh, the p- and the pattern right, is right. more or less same did Perhaps you encounter it while you sat for the exam did you feel that oh this question i solved in the uh pyq set before to be really honest i don't remember quite well but okay, perhaps, okay. perhaps okay yeah i got a few questions uh, okay. uh, maybe one or two because uh, pyqs is also a vast number of questions you will not remember all of them but you will uh, remember at least one or two which you had a hard time solving them so usually those were the questions in fact in je mm-hmm. advance also you can see mm-hmm. questions are repeated from last 30 or 25 to 30 years uh, past questions which are okay. very hard to get access to right right, uh, right. so uh, preparing from pyqs only will be very much sufficient mm-hmm. uh, and then you can move on to mock tests and also you can uh, give uh, regular mock tests of uh, pyqs uh, so you can get well acquainted with the pyqs also and you can get a rough estimate of what strategy you should follow right right you can right. make your own uh, mock test by uh, selecting a few questions in hmm. each section in the pyqs true and um, would you share your tra- time strategy with us like what time did you devote to each subject or say what time did you devote to your personal studies and solving mock tests or pyqs will you share with that uh, personally in the last month i uh, usually gave both the shifts uh, 9 to 12 and 2 to 5 and uh, in between the uh, in between time that 12 to 2 i usually took some rest like i prepared Uh, just like the exam day hmm, uh, hmm. so i can get well acquainted and uh, the exam anxiety factor shouldn't come into play right. on the exam day so uh, and remaining the after 5 uh, i used to revise what i had given then uh, uh, if i need any revision or not if i require uh, any more topics to be covered if this is sufficient and that's all 
ओके व्हाट अबाउट यू शोन आई ड्यूरिंग द लास्ट मंथ और सो बिफोर द एग्जाम्स आई स्टार्ट इज सॉल्विंग सेवल क्वेश्चन पेपर्स एंड I devoted more or less seven to eight hours. I have uh, more uh, time should be devoted actually. Okay. And I did not have a strict routine that I have to start from this time on hmm. that. However, whenever I st- started solving question papers or I gave mock tests, I made sure that I st- uh, stayed there for three hours straight so that okay. I-, I would be acquainted w- with uh, sitting and hmm. focusing on the question paper for three hours. Right. Because right. that's required during the exams. And you devoted similar time to all the three subjects. More or less. Okay. Because I was revising all the subjects and then hmm. I was also giving the uh, question. P- uh, Uh, the mock test which had equal weightage to all the subjects however i would also um, say that uh, they also they also required uh, uh, they also require revisit and analysis after the ex- after giving the mock test and so if someone feels that they uh, he or she is quite weak in mm-hmm. s- a particular subject mm. then he or she should devote more time in that subject solve a, um, uh, uh, a few number of questions in that or revise the topics also okay uh, how many hours of study per day are sufficient according to you shobhik which doesn't take a negative toll on the aspirant's health also uh, firstly you should take enough rest mm. and uh, the about the uh, hours you should study that depends on individuals you should not study according to the time uh, you should study according to the topics you are uh, trying to cover this day or this week you right. should uh, get a r- if you do not prepare also uh, a strict uh, routine or schedule hmm. but you should uh, prepare a rough estimate of what i should cover this day or in this week i should uh, cover this much uh, hmm. topics or i should revisit this topics or hmm. uh, if there is any w- backlog i will try to cover it this week hmm. then you can uh, prepare uh, accordingly and uh, you can reduce your uh, Uh, dedication towards one subject or you should be flexible switching between the subjects it's not like uh, you devote your most of the time uh, preparing for physics or chemistry or subject you are weak at for the whole two years uh, first you prepare for uh, your favorite subject then you go for which is weak one and then you uh, s- cont- and yeah there is a continuous requirement of uh, practicing maths because Now. maths uh, right. is an important uh, subject mm. and mm. it will be required both in physics and chemistry also that calculus part true mm. how many hours did you study shona approximately 7 to 8 during the last time okay. of the uh, last month or before the exams like that okay so my next question would be according to you how many times do you think aspirant should keep preparing or keep uh, appearing for the je mains like before he or she chooses some alternate career do you advise them to keep appearing for that or according to you how many times they should do that uh, i think they should appear if they do not get the satisfied rank they mm. should take another chance and right. drop a year and then mm. and even if then they don't get the satisfied rank hmm. they can take a partial drop like they can enroll in a college and then at the same time they prepare for je mains again hmm. so it hmm. depends on the person if they are uh, satisfied with a uh, with a, a small uh, like with a larger rank then is good Okay. and if they are not satisfied they and they want to give the exam they yeah. should give the exam however it also uh, depends on whether the person can actually handle the stress mm-hmm. like getting enrolled in a institution and parallelly studying for j mains is not easy right 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 what are your thoughts about it shobhi uh, i think that uh, taking a partial drop is uh, like a worse option okay. you should either take a complete drop or you can uh, enroll for a program hmm. because uh, managing uh, y- yes it's uh, de- it depends on the managing factor but uh, i have seen in my college also uh, pre- partial
all about a second chance so right, we should right. uh, definitely give je more than one chance okay okay and uh, yeah there is also about the mentality that uh, confidence level factor uh, like if you take a drop you will think like all my friends are uh, already admitted to institutes hmm, like hmm, iits hmm. and nits but i am left here alone so right, there right. will be negative thoughts also but right. you should handle it well uh, by uh, conversing regularly with your family and uh, close friends or someone who has also taken a drop so you can hmm. correlate with them and okay Uh, discuss about the right 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 so uh, let's move forward after the examination how did how was your counseling process what did you go through hmm the counseling process was the one which confused me a lot okay like Please i was speak about it i was not acquainted with counseling before the exam so after the exams were over hmm. i took a little bit of rest and then I started studying about what is counseling like hmm. I did not know anything. So and then uh, from my friends and then from the official website from teachers I came to know about what actually Josa counseling is. So basically it is a procedure uh, by which we are allotted a seat in a national institute or something like that a uh, institute of national importance. So okay. according to that we have we just have to make a list of su- sub uh, branch uh, or the courses hmm. in different colleges and then that list should be according to our priorities okay. like if you want to get admitted to a particular course in a particular institute hmm. at first then we would uh, place that in course at the first of the list mm-hmm. and then the second and like that and then the the authority will check whether our rank is sufficient for okay. us to be admitted to that course in that particular college or not if mm. it is then we will get that seat and if it is not then uh, they will check the next college and so on okay. so it goes like this and there are several other options like float freeze and uh stop like that okay okay what was your counseling experience like uh, definitely it's a hectic process uh, to search on your own uh, hmm, and hmm. Uh, you have to read the whole pdf uh, about the rules and regulations right. for the josa counseling that right. bulletin information hmm, uh, hmm. pdf so you can take guidance from your close teachers or uh, maybe friends who uh, previous year senior friends who have already applied or uh, you can take guidance from youtube channels or videos also hmm. like i told you before i uh, uh, did my counseling from that gorov roy uh, right, he is right, right hmm, now hmm. reading in my college only hmm, you hmm. can search it gorov hmm. roy nit durgapur hmm, hmm. okay okay surely. okay so as we come to the last leg of the program how is your campus life are you enjoying it or is it too much of a pressure Uh, if you uh, if i'm talking about pressure then i would say that i have handled much more, more pressure, pressure than, than what right, i'm handling right, right now hmm. because i had uh, i was in a um, school hmm. isc school hmm. so i had to balance both m- boards as well as hmm. j and there were a lot of topics to be covered in j as compared to the curriculum at hmm. present hmm. Hmm. so there is not much pressure the campus life is good and i'm uh, experiencing hostel life for the first time so it's okay. a new experience for me mm. and more or less i'm having a good time okay what about you shobhik yeah so uh, what pre- uh, the pressure i felt during je is far more greater than what i am feeling right now in fact there is no pressure in college life also mm. uh, you can enjoy uh, the campus you can enjoy uh, you uh, talking with friends uh, playing video games and uh, doing whatever you like hmm. uh, in our uh, case uh, the exam is not much of an issue right. you, you can just prepare like one week uh, start preparation just one week before the exam and you can uh, yeah get uh, well above 9 cg okay. uh, and uh, there are regular fests and uh, etc uh, and club events which are hmm. organized uh, in our institute mm-hmm. which uh, help us relieve our stress Yeah. Okay, okay. So, 
as we uh, wind up this show i am sure our viewers have benefited a lot from the insights of both our guests today uh, as they have shared uh, so many of their valuable experiences and insights that they enco- encountered while uh, preparing for the competitive exam and also after that and uh, as we move forward Uh, the Bengali New Year is knocking on our doors, so I wish both of you a shubho nobo borsho, and also to all our viewers a very shubho nobo borsho to all of you. Our next program uh, will go live, and we'll share the details soon on on our official uh, Facebook and Instagram Instagram pages. And uh, the renowned Bengali singer Rupankar Bagchi will be here in the studio, so prepare your song lists and. Be here with us for the Bangladesh Ganer Adda. Namaskar, Shubho Navarsho.